So I want you to watch this video to the end because I guess and I believe that all the points are important. But just maybe number 10 might be the most important point that has been limiting you from growing your hair long and fuller. So please keep watching. Hello royalties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ichi Princess and if you are new to this video or you're just stopping by, please don't make it your last. Hit the subscription button below and turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So in today's video, I'll be telling you how I managed by the grace of God to grow my hair fuller and thicker under a year. Yes, under a year. My, my hair just plucked one um, January 8th. Yeah, that's my birthday, but yeah, I started my hair journey on my birthday last year, 2022, January 8th. So this year, 2023, January 8th, made my hair one year. So today, I'm going to be giving you 11 tips that I think has been hindering you from getting to your hair goal or has been making you to feel like your hair is not growing. Whether you like it or not, your hair is constantly growing. But there are some things that we do, aside from breakage, there are some small, small, small things that we as individuals contribute to our hair damage, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be spilling all those 11 tips that I think you should drop okay drop it drop it this january since we're already in new year drop it this january don't take it to february please since 23 your hair will grow your hair must grow this year okay so without further ado let's get right to it so these tips i'm going to be giving to you are something that you might find very very strange and new yes they are because they are to even me i have to make my research with my one year of um, growing my hair out has made me to learn a lot about natural hair and a lot of research and studies and yeah i'm happy to bring them to you because i feel like it's going to be very very helpful helpful to you as well so forgive me if i'm going to be looking down because i have my notes yeah i have my notes here so number one read the ingredients on the bottle of your hair product that you've heard several times but i'm bringing to you something very new which is salt do you know they use salt in making your shampoo hmm? oh you don't know they're probably gonna make your research and yes salt you know is sodium chloride and that's our cooking salt it's very very unsafe and unhealthy for the hair make your research i had to make my own research and i discovered that it's very very um, unhealthy to the hair it dries out your hair and many other things have hair, to hair loss um it, it, it's a lot it's a lot so try to read the ingredients on the bottle of your hair product because maybe it might have salt it might have salt because that's my focus for this video salt okay avoid um hair products that has sodium chloride that might also be causing your hair not to grow or you not seeing a significant increase in length number two reduce your saloon visits yes you i'm speaking to you reduce the amount of or the number of time you visit your hair um saloon to make your hair done what i'm trying to say in essence is reduce the amount of time you make your hair you don't have to be making your hair every single time every single day twice in twice in a week once in a week reduce the amount of time you visit the saloon okay and if you're in nigeria here that i base okay when you look around you're going to see a lot of roadside saloons these people have no idea most of them actually let me not generalize it most of them have no idea on what length retention is they have no idea on how to keep, uh, maintain and keep your hair healthy i prefer to visit a natural hair saloon because i feel like that's that's to some extent considerable for me, but I, I actually don't visit saloon for the past like um a year or two, a year plus. I haven't visited a saloon. Okay, I'm making my hair myself. Thank you. So it's for your own good to limit the amount of time you visit your saloon to get your hair done. Constant pulling, constant dragging, constant combing, constant depressing, constant heat, constant. Uh, they are not healthy to your hair. <laughs> they are just not healthy. They are too much for your hair. I think when you limit that, you tend to get a more healthier and um, new growth. Okay, let's move on to number three. 
so my third point hmm, my third point is going to be wash day is not every day you heard me wash day is not every day excess moisture actually does a lot of harm to your hair i am a living testimony of that i used to wash my hair like nothing else matters to me than clean hair okay maybe that was my mindset or i feel like oh when if you wash your hair constantly you avoid hair um, um clogging and all of that chemical build up dandruff and all of that so i used to wash my hair constantly and there was no single day that my hair is not always on the ground and i learned and i made my research and i discovered there was something like hydration fatigue and i was like so i have been cutting my hair damage all this why and i did not know so yeah i'm bringing this to you wash day is not every day reduce the amount of water you sprint on your hair reduce the amount of moisture you put on your hair because that might be the reason why your hair is constantly falling you're calling that shadow okay i'm moving back to number one abibo yeah the focus is moisture is not really really nice for your hair excessive moisture on foot excessive moisture is not really nice for your hair it causes your hair to be weak and then the strands breaks off and they fall off to the ground and thus you don't retain any length your hair is constantly falling and will not screw it's simple okay let's move on to number four for number four, I have decided to come closer to my screen to voice this out because it's paining me. <laughs> it's just similar to number three, but in different essence. What do I mean? And what am I talking about? Number four. Limit your moisturizing experiments. Oh, God. I am a product junk. <laughs> I use a lot of products on my hair. And my own gets so bad that a day cannot pass without me applying something to my hair. One single day cannot pass by without me putting something on my hair. And that also contributed to a massive hair loss I got in 2022. Oh, God. Hey, middle of 2022, my hair was falling. And I was giving myself hope that, oh, this is shedding, this is shedding. Hmm. Till I stopped this habit and I saw how much I have been damaging my own strand. Just imagine my hair was fuller than this. Hmm? Just, just imagine my hair was fuller than this. So I really, really damaged my hair and I don't want you to do the same. And yes, I'm sure they're not telling you that. They're always telling you, oh, spring water to your hair, it causes dry hair. Oh, put this on your hair, it causes that. Oh, the product junk, the product you're using, it's, it's supposed to be used uh, every day, daily use. no no sister no don't do it okay this is going to weaken your strand your hair on its own is okay it's comfortable no when it's dry i'm not saying don't moisturize your hair but i'm saying don't do that every single day there should be a limit to it notice when your hair is over saturated with those oils and stop immediately else you'll be causing more harm than good and I am trying to save you, my darling, from that. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to number five. <laughs> so for number five, it's simple. You've already heard this one. This one is not going to sound strange. Learn your hair and know the type of oil that works for you. It's okay to use natural oils on your hair. Yes, just know the natural oil that is best for your hair okay what works for me might not work for you and will not work for you and please don't force it because you might be causing damage to your hair a lot of people use coconut oil me i personally I use shea butter on my hair sometimes so um learn the one that works for you just because your favorite person or oh she has a long hair and she uses um these does not mean that these would be okay for you maybe that is okay for you okay just know the natural oil that works for you i have seen some testimonies of people saying oh olive oil damaged my hair oh shea butter has ruined my life oh okay okay 
just because it doesn't work for you doesn't mean it doesn't work for another person and just because it works for another person doesn't mean it's going to work for you okay darling so please let's put that into consideration to learn our hair do a lot of experiments when it comes to this moisturize your hair with different oils not at the same time do that one at a time and know the one that your hair accepts and stick to it i prefer you stick to what works instead of just jumping around stick to what works and leave what doesn't work and that moves me to our next point number three okay so number six i really thought i mentioned this earlier i think i made a mistake in my numbering but yeah number six is please darling don't mistake breakage for shedding i'll go again don't mistake breakage for shedding what do i mean so usually um at the time where i was like getting a lot of breakage from my moisture experiments and daily moisture and all of that wash day and everything that caused my hair to be super super um um hydration that went through some hydration fatigue and all of that my hair was breaking i was like i think i think my hair is shedding okay i was using that to give myself hope that my hair is shedding okay so i was like okay it's normal if, if someone asks me ah did you your hair is on the ground I'm like yeah it's normal it's normal natural hair has to shed okay so i was like yeah it's normal <sighs> i realized it was not normal when i started to limit the amount of moisturizing i applied to my moisturizers i applied to my hair and when i limited my wash day so yes please i i don't want you to make the same mistake that i made don't mistake breakage for shedding be conscious of that and know when this is different from that and that is different from this okay so when it comes to shedding yeah the, your hair sheds okay but not super often i think it has a number of amount of days you see before it like sheds away and new ones will come out and all of that but when you constantly see your hair on the ground like chunk of hair constantly on your comb chunk of hair on the ground when you gather it like this you mold it <laughs> that is not shedding please that is not shedding be aware of when you are mistaking breakage for shedding let's move on to the next point point number seven so for point number seven yeah is is not going this one is definitely not going to be something strange you must have heard this but maybe you've not been taking it seriously that's why i brought it back to you again learn your hair learn your hair i'm not going to say much about a um, regimen routine but all of those are important i want you to take your time to learn your hair even if you have a special hairdresser that takes good care of your hair i still want you to be in charge i want you to know your hair i want you to feel it what does the texture feels like does it feel different from yesterday is it is it is it too coarse is it dry when my hairdresser is not around when she puts to bed when she's not in town can i still feel my hair and know what exactly is the difference okay i want you to learn your hair type i want you to learn your regimen i want you to know your routine i want you to know the right amount of product that has worked for your hair when you go to your salon visit be aware of every single thing your hair stylist or your salon uh, your yeah, your hair stylist is applying on your hair if you've noticed that that has worked please ask her for the um, product if you requires you to pay extra to buy them buy them know what works for you and stick with that it is very important this year 2022 2023 okay thank you for point number eight scalp massage is important yes 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 this is not strange this is not new but like i stated earlier you might not have been taking this serious and i brought it back to you in this year 2023 so you my darling will start taking it seriously scalp massage is important i usually don't scalp massage my hair every day every day but i do it i do i, I do scalp massage I when i want to wash my hair i try to like yeah even on a normal day like i moisturize my hair I'll talk about that later in another video anyway but yeah not like every day not like every single day but you can do it every day yeah that's very beautiful as well 
scalp massage is important i'm not going to overstress this i believe you understand what i'm saying by now so let's move on to the next point point number nine so point number nine hmm. be very gentle when comb or finger detangling your hair let me speak it in a good english in a, in a better english okay be very gentle when you are comb detangling or finger detangling your hair okay so i said this earlier in my first video my first ever video that it's not the comb or your finger that's the problem the problem is the tension the problem is you the problem is the aggression the problem is the force the problem is the, the, the hardness you use when taking care of your hair that might be the reason why your length is always cutting and you don't retain any length because hey guys it's about length retention so if you're constantly pulling some tensions on your hair either you're using your fingers or you're using your comb and you're constantly pulling your hair and it's constantly breaking yes you're not going to retain any length your hair will remain the same yes it's be as if your relationship is following you your hair will remain the same so be very gentle even if you're not doing it yourself you're going to the salon please tell the person to be very gentle so yeah that's my point be very very gentle when comb detangling or finger detangling your hair now let's move on to the 10th point point number 10 hmm. guys i'm really enjoying this section i wish we'll keep doing this to keep doing this to can stop saying press i'm enjoying it i'm liking the flows okay okay no, no blabbing no blabbing point number 10 this one the reason why i started with blabbing eh, um, is because i fall if i fall victim of this one this one is something that i am i am i am in this club i'm in the party okay so what is number 10 hair gel are not healthy habits <laughs> Hair gel are not healthy hair habits. Okay, so I fall in prey to this one, and it's 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 something I'm still battling as a hair um, content creator. I make hair, and most of the hairstyles just requires you, especially when you're on natural hair, just requires you to add those gels so your hair can slick even better. But hair um gels are not healthy habits. They are not hair healthy habits okay so i'm working on this and i hope you're working on this as well every chemical you put on your hair always have a damage has not like damage has consequence every hair product you put on your hair has its own consequence on your hair so it depends on what you're expressing what the effect will be either high or low but i'm definitely sure that hair especially if you have done not less gray before and you applied hair gel all over your hair you might know what i'm saying your hair will definitely fall when you are taking down when you're losing or taking down the braids you definitely see what i'm saying those guys dry your hair they dry your hair out the hair gel dries your hair out badly and they are not hair healthy habits okay i'm still working on this i try not to keep my hair for as um, in gel styles as long I try to limit how long um, the hairstyles stay so I can still wash them off and re-moisturize my hair. So I think you should do that as well. Let's, let's help ourselves, okay? So, yeah, that is that for that. I'm sure you get the point. Now let's move to the final, not the last, <laughs> the long-awaited point. Point number 11. So point number 11 is reduce the amount of hands that touches your hair negative energy is real okay so i was watching um is it indigenous trans on youtube you might try and check her out and she was like she usually cover her hair with scarf when going out because she believes that um there are negative energies moving around and you just don't want that when you come back try to clean your hair out to some spiritual cleansing to remove some negative energy from your hair i don't know for some reasons i kind of believe in that i think they are actually real i don't know but i limit the amount of um hands that touch my hair and if you know me in person you will know that 
for the past one year it has been a stable nobody touches my hair it's been a stable i have never allowed another person apart from myself and i to touch my hair so i don't know why but i feel like there's some negative energy there's some people that would touch your hair and your hair will grow i don't know if that's a myth but yeah i, I think i believe that and there's people that will touch your hair and your hair will fall like your hair will start cutting real time so be careful and be conscious of people you allow to touch your hair because i believe and i think you should do as well believe that negative energy is real hmm. so we've come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video i did i did enjoy the filming process <laughs> and i'm sure you did as well please if you do like this video because it helps youtube to push it out comment below and tell me which point have you fall a victim of you fall prey of because me is number 10 i still fall victim of that even to today but yeah we're still yeah we're trying to work on it and improve so that some habits will not follow us 2024 so tell me which one do you fall prey of okay comment below and tell me which point you fall prey of okay so comment like as usual subscribe if you are new or you're just passing by and yeah give this family a support i need it i need it share to people you think this video will be helpful to okay until next time see you in my next video and when it comes to limiting the amount of hands that you allow to touch your hair i think you learning how to make your hair yourself will be a kickstart to 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 um maintain, uh, maintaining or keeping to the rule of not allowing so many people touch your hair so if you think that is for you please watch my video on hairstyling i make hairstyles uh, in videos i tell i teach people how to cornrow their hair by themselves and do some different hairstyles so please stay true because we'll be dropping a lot of videos and we'll try to be doing that weekly Thank you for watching and please stay safe. I love you. Until next time.